The first question is, have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? And the real answer is no. It, it took me a long time to really start social media and really get serious about it. But once I really got serious about it, no. I don't see myself quitting for a while. Just because like I know how much growth I can actually do. And so I don't really see myself quitting. I, I see myself really just growing and growing and growing and growing. So no. No, I don't I don't see myself quitting at all. Question number two. If if you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? To see how far I made it. Easy question. To see how far I made it, to see how much money I got in my bank account, to see how successful I am, to see the friends around me. Do I got the same friends? Do I got new friends? Da, 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 da. Like that would be the most important thing to me. Just to see if all my hard work really did pay off. Did I change paths? Do I go in a different direction? Do I go in a different career path? Like that's that's something I really want. That that would be something I really want to know. If you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? Dubai. I've always dreamed about going to Dubai. Um, I am going out of the country for the first time in like next month. I don't know, but definitely Dubai. And what would I do? Vlog, take pictures. Had a little, what is it called? The little turban thing on. Have my little, have my little, little white coat on, you feel me? Like, have my little white coat. And then, like, just, just vibe out, man. Just vibe out, race cars. Cause you, sur like, you're really surrounded by wealth. Like, you said, you're surrounded by money. Like, why would you not want to be around money? I mean, that's just me, though, you feel me? That's me. What advice would you give to your past self? Don't let your surroundings, don't let the people around you, don't let your, your, your environment you live in dictate what you do in life. You know what I mean? Just because you see X, Y, and Z doing this, or you see this person, your friend, he doing this and it's doing, you know, he he going down the wrong path. You see he going down, going down the wrong path. That doesn't mean you need to go down the wrong path. You know what I mean? Always keep God first, you know, cause I, I'm, I'm, I'm very Christian. So I always keep God first, man. Pray every day, man. Pray every day, keep God first, but always have that big dream in your head. Like always stay driven, always, you know, just press on to the mark. Just always keep going, stay in the grind, stay in your season of growth, keep growing, keep being consistent, be smart. I mean, stay being funny, don't be a, like, don't just, you know, stay being you, but just always have that dream in your head and know that one day, not that I made it, but that, know that like, you know, one day, you're gonna get to a point where you have equipment to film and you doing everything that you wanna do. What advice would you, what, what advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator. Like I said, just be consistent. Be consistent, stay consistent. Don't let the haters stop you from being you. You know what I mean? If you make cringy content, keep posting cringy content. You know what I mean? If it's, you know, if it's helping you grow and that's what you like to do and you love it and you having fun doing it, do it. Don't let nobody, don't let nobody tell you what to do. You know what I mean? Don't let, don't let, don't get caught up in all the trauma and the hate comments. Cause people gonna hate regardless. If you, you know, if you don't have haters, you doing something wrong. You know what I mean? Just keep grinding, be consistent, post every day. Even when you don't want to post, post. It might be a bad post, but post. Don't ever not post. Unless you're like, like you mentally are out of it, post. If this, what, if this, if you want this to be your job, your full-time job, post. Keep posting. Make better posts. If you see some video that's doing bad, make a better video. If you put a thousand and ten percent in one video and they come out bad, hey, hmm, okay, I need to change this and change that. Do that. Make make alterations, make, you know what I mean? Just keep leveling up. Yeah, just keep leveling up. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. What are your favorite movies of all time? Easy. Fat, if you know me, it's gonna be Fast and Furious. The, the entire nine movie series and the tenth one coming out in a minute. But that. That is my favorite movie I've ever seen in my entire life. I know every movie, every nine movies, even Tokyo Drift. All the, all, I know all the characters. I was, to be honest, I was actually very saddened by, you know, you know, Brian dying, and you know, I was, I was actually sad about that. But Paul Walker. But uh, just keep, you know, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely that movie. That's my Fast and Furious is my movie. I know everything. I know. I even know some favorite lines. Like that's, that's really my movie. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, what is something pe most people who follow you don't know about you? I have a twin brother. People don't believe I have a twin because they think I'll be playing, I'll be joking all the time, but no, I actually have a twin brother. He don't look like me. We're fraternal, but I actually do have a twin. 
His name is Jordan Ship. And he on TikTok as J Ship. Uh, but yeah, I have a twin. I'm taller. <laughs> Obviously, I look better. But <laughs> no, nah, but like I have a twin. Like that's my blood. Like we blood brother. We blood twin brother. So yeah, that's my that's my gang right there. That's me. What is your favorite birthday memory? Now, this is something that's actually is dear to my heart. Last year, I met a group of friends. You know, at uh, at an event. And we became real close, we became real cool. Now this is around the time my brother, prior, on a prior year, he you know, had some complicated with health and you know, life threatening, whatever. The net that, you know, so last year, we're going into the, we turned to 21. And you know, where I grew up, a lot of people don't even get to turn 21. So that was already a, a good thing. And, and I'm in LA and then, I know my, my brother's in New York, was well, supposed to be in New York, cause he, he's in school, da da da. And so, my friends and him were scheming together for him to surprise me without, and mind you, nobody's telling me. Did nobody let me know? No, nothing that. And uh, my friend, they was like, everybody come to the living room. We're about to sing happy birthday to Josh, da 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 da. And then my friend Emily, she was like, hey, Josh, turn around. I got a surprise for you. And I'm thinking like, you know, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I was thinking of a dog. I was thinking of a, like a jacket or something. It was my brother. It was my, it was my brother, my twin brother. When I, when I, when I tell, it's a video up somewhere. When I tell you, I turned around and I hugged him so, like I hugged him so hard and, oh no, that was just a, that was just a real, you know, a, a sweet moment for me. That's my, I haven't seen him in a while. That's my brother. We turned 21 together, you know, and it was just a, it was just a good moment. And then later that night, we went to Knox Bay Farms. First roller coaster ride ever in life. Never been on one. Um, and yeah, that's just pretty much it. Like that's my favorite memory. And I appreciate my friends. They know who they are. And I appreciate my brother, dude. that's it. Next question, what's your goal for where you will be three years from today? The goal is to be happy. I mean, I think that's the most important thing for me to do. I, the goal is to be happy. The goal is to uh, have, be in a walk, be like, I, I love fashion, I love modeling, da, da, da. So I wanna model in a, I wanna model in a fashion show. I wanna runway, I wanna do runway walk. I wanna be in some type of TV series. Um, I wanna really take the social media thing like, to the roof. I want to be happy. I want to be comfortable financially. I want to be able to, you know, buy something for my mom so she can appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's three years. Yeah, I'd be what 24. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely want to do that for sure. I, I think that's like the biggest thing for me. When did you first go viral? Now this is very recent now because I mean this is very recent. But it, recently I did a video. It was my angel shot video where you know you shake the bottle. And then somebody yo, hey, I need an angel shot. And I'm like, huh? They're like, yo, I need an angel shot. Angel shot me, I'm like, you know, it's like a crop. So I did that video and surprise, I was at work. I was, I, working, I was working at Macy's. I was at work and I look at my video. I try not to look at videos because I, I try not to like psych myself out. Cause like, at the first hour don't do good. I'll be like, ah, oh, dang, like, another bad video, whatever, whatever. I look at the video, man, it was at like a hundred thousand views. I'm like, okay. It's promising. I got off of work, it was at like six, 600,000. I'm like, oh wow, it's gonna hit a million by the night. When I went home and ate and everything, played the game and everything, but it was at a million. Right now, I think it's at like 5.6 million. I mean, it's not, and that's a lot of views. For, for me, as a small creator, and a going to be a big one, like that is a lot. So that's that's my viral video. My age is up, I, I think I'm, I'm not known for that video, but like that's, that's my, that's my video. When was the time of your life you felt like you was at a crossroads and how and what did you do? Last year, last year, 2022, um, around August, no, more September, September. Um, I didn't, I really didn't know where my life was going. I didn't know how to navigate through anything. I didn't know what job I wanted. I didn't know nothing. My brother, he took me on a trip. He paid for everything. He took me on a trip. We, we went to Playlist Live. And uh, this is a, it's an event where like all creators come out and da, 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 they all get together, they film, they have fun, they just, you know, network and stuff like that. Me, not being a real creator, I'm, I was like, bro, I, just, I go do you. I'm not going to do nothing, but go do you. Um, and on the last, on the very, very last day, I meet these group of people, they are POV creators. I meet these group of people. Not knowingly, they, these people are going to help me and motivate me down the line. But uh, I met these group of people and I was just sitting in the house and I was watching everybody just make content. I was sitting like this and I was watching all of them just make content and be happy about it. 
and it was just motivating. So I made a video. It was just motivating me to basically get up, get off my butt, go make some content, go do stuff that I wanted to do. And then from that day forward, like I, I, that day on, I just been making content, being consistent. And I mean, here we are. Like here we are now. I'm, I'm in all leather. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? Like I'm, I'm happy now. You know, I'm growing now. Um, I'm in a better place. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, yeah, I, I, I really do thank the people that was in that house, um, because they asked, my brother started it, but I, I really do help, I really do thank them, because they actually helped me, you know, navigate through some stuff, and now I'm here, like, I'm, I'm able to do what I want, so, you know what I mean, like, I'm happy. Wait, do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing? Okay, long-term career? Probably not. Give it about, like, okay. Maybe like seven, nine, man. I don't know. I really don't know because like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna model. But you can, all, I wanna do model and social media at the same time. Um, and then I wanna really get into business. Like I wanna be a businessman. I wanna, you know, navigate business and be, you know, real estate agent. Blah, blah, blah. But, um, but not really an agent. But actually, yeah, I, I kind of do see myself being a creator for a very long time. I mean, eventually as I get older, I'm gonna navigate into like business, the business side of it and everything like that. But definitely, yeah, I definitely think that I'm gonna be creating for a very long time, especially if like YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook is around. Definitely, I, I'm gonna be doing that for a while. And I'm excited, I, I, I really cannot wait for the future. Like it's, uh, I'm, I'm standing in the present, but definitely, definitely cannot wait. Who are your role models? I have, Mm, it's crazy. I have I, I I have three, three role models. I have my papa, uh, because um, he was the first person in, in my family to ever touch a million dollars. Um, unfortunately, he passed, but he was the first person to touch a million dollars. He he was a man of God. He he was a pastor in the church, and I I went to church every Sunday. I I used to dread that, but it's okay now. We good now. <laughs> we good now. On me. We good now. But. Uh, my pa uh, my my papa he was a pastor, so I, him he's a he's a and he was more of a father figure to me too, like uh, more than anything. My mom's because she raised four kids by herself, you know, and I know that was hard to do. Where I go to work, you know, obviously there was time, and then being in a tough environment, a tough neighborhood, like she was, a, she was able to navigate navigate all four of her kids out of that, and you know, I, I, I applaud and I give thanks to my mom because she could she didn't have she could have left. You know what I mean? But she raised four kids by herself, and I applaud her every single day. And I thank her. And every time I get a, a, a lick of money, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a, hey, I'm a toss pass it to her. And then uh, another role model of mine is uh, my brother, my twin brother, to, uh, to be honest. You know, we, I, I, to be honest, I never, I always knew he wanted to be an actor, but I never really seen i never really seen what I see now. You know, I see the dedication, I see the drive, I see the consistency, I see the support from like fans and people, and you know, that just motivates. That just motivates me to just be and do better, like to make money and do better and support my family just the way he did. Like, um, yeah. So he's a he's a big part of like what I do now. Which one? Of your accomplishments, are you mo are you most are you proudest of? I, to be honest, I will have to, I gotta say YouTube. Like I just have I, my when I hit, I started YouTube in what October I think I think it was I think it was October of 2022, and it's crazy because I know people work hard for this, but I, I worked hard too. I started in October 22 and 2022 Jesus, and by December 31st. 11.59, I hit 20K on the dot. 11.59 on the dot, I hit 20K. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to hit 20K in that in that time frame of October through December. Yeah, three, <laughs> three months. And when I tell you, I was so I was so happy. I, I, so normally, when I bring in a new year when I'm in church. But when I tell you, I was extremely ecstatic and, and happy. Like, that was, I was, that was just a, that was just a really proud moment of me and uh, my grind and my hustle and I know that I can make it. My name is Joshua Shipp, man. It's lovely to see y'all. It's lovely to meet y'all. I hope to meet y'all one day. I love y'all. Family's birthday and I love you, man. And, uh, I see y'all on the flip. Peace out.